Welcome back to Pintech. I just finished uh, repairing and doing a very minor shop out on this Daiichi Pachinko machine. And this video is for the client to show them that the machine is functioning 100% after the work that was done. Um, all the mechanisms on the machine were completely rusted up. So um, that was one of the main reasons it wasn't working. And there was tons of debris within all the um, trails from in the back of the machine. Um, the wire harness was completely shot, so I had to create a new one for the lights. Um, lamp sockets were corroded, so I installed new lamp sockets, and I installed LEDs instead of um, incandescent bulbs, so that's kind of a modification. The machine now runs off a 9-volt battery, so you can take it anywhere you want to play the machine. You don't have to plug it in. So let me play a game and show the features of the machine that are working. Um, the lights work when you get a jackpot. You'll see a yellow light will go on here. When the ball tray that's in the back that holds the balls that are given to you to um, for the uh, jackpots and for the payouts, when that goes low, this light will come on indicating that it's about to go empty. So I'm going to try to play enough um, games and hopefully win enough times so that the balls will drain out of that hopper and that light will come on to show you that that feature is functioning as well. So let's start some games. Okay, you see that the low hopper light just came on, and that indicates that there's just a few balls left in it. So, until the balls are completely empty out of the hopper, you'll still be able to fire from the shooter right here. But once it gets completely empty, you will not be able to load balls from the shooter tray into the shooter area. It'll lock out until you refill the tray in the back. So let me demonstrate, let's see how many balls we can shoot. Because it's still loading, that means the hopper isn't completely empty. This is just a warning to let you know it's going empty. So maybe one more jackpot this will lock up. Okay, now it's completely empty, the hopper is completely empty, so the balls are locked out from the uh, ball shooter tray into the shooter area. They will not load into here, so you can't fire any balls. You can see that. Uh, another thing of note is when your payout tray up here starts to overflow and it can jam up in here. So what you want to do is send these balls down to the overflow tray here, and you do that by sliding this lever to the left. And that sends your jackpot balls up here on the ball shooter tray into the overflow tray. So one last thing I'll show you. I'll load up some balls in the hopper again and that light should go out.
So now that there's balls in the tray, you'll see that the light went out. That light is actually for the staff in the pachinko parlors, so when they see that light going on, they'll know that the hopper is going low and they fill it up before it actually gets empty. So anyway, that's the Daichi Pachinko. Hope you like the video. If you would like your pachinko machine repaired, restored, or a pinball machine repaired, restored, just look me up on Facebook under Pintech. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.